Welcome everybody to another day with Kenny the Colorado Gambler. Today's October the 26th. Uh, we'll have five more picks for you today. NBA, this is the NBA and college basketball show. Um, we picked only three games yesterday, two against the spread and one money line. We went 0-2 against the spread and 1-0 on the money line. So that brings our total to against the spread, 6-7. and seven. Money line, we're 3-0. And on the underdogs, we are one and one. Um, actually, I'm sorry, we're 0 and 2 on the underdogs. That was, uh, let me get that right. All right. So 6 and 7 gets a spread, 3 and 0, money line, and 0 and 2, the dogs. If you, if you can notice, the money line, 3 and 0, is what really keeps us alive. Um, that along with live betting, I don't have the numbers for live betting because I make so many live props during and throughout the games. Um, I can track them, but I'll have to compile that along with all my football data is a little bit too much right now. So, and another reason we're late today is because we've been crunching football numbers for the weekend. So, um, you still only got about 20 minutes to get to your bookie today. Let's go ahead and wrap this up today. We're going to go with the Nets. And the Bucks to go over 230. The total is 230. It was at 231. It dropped down to 230, which is in our favor. Um, I doubt there will be much defense on the Nets end for sure. And Kyrie and, and Dur Durant will definitely try to get theirs as usual. So um, I expect a high-scoring game. If you can get some prop bets in, um, I would take... I'm also looking at the Ja Rule under 16 and a half points. He never really goes off. Kyrie may try to keep him in check, but we'll see. But that's in separate uh, personal prop bets. Next, we're going to go with the Bucks minus three. So you got the Nets and the Bucks over the total. Then we're going to go with the Bucks minus th three against, the, I'm sorry, it just dropped down to two and a half, which is even better also. So we'll catch the Bucks minus two and a half. We got Philly minus two at the Raptors. And then as far as our underdog today, the Lakers are visiting Denver. I know I hung my hat up on Denver, on the Lakers early, um, wanting to give up on. I should have put my Lakers gear on today. But they're here in Denver, and I don't expect Denver to take it easy on them since they are um, struggling right now with their rotation, with their personnel, and shooting is definitely an issue. So I expect the um, Lakers to come in, and if they're going to try to beat anybody, you want to beat – um, one of the better teams in the Western Conference, especially with the MVP being on the team. LeBron will probably go pretty hard tonight. So let's go with the Lakers as a, my underdog. We haven't hit any dogs yet. We're 0-2. And, and then my money line pick. We also give you a money line pick. We're going to go with the Heat minus 145. The reason we take the money line with the Heat is they don't have to win by any points. And the, and the payout or the odds is not too bad at minus 145. We're trying to keep the money line um, where it's it's under, let's say, sometimes, let's just say under 170 because um, some nights you, you can put those together with a nice parlay, um, but the money line will go with the heat minus the 145. Speaking of parlays, I give you five picks. Um, I was explaining this to one of my partners. Um, it's cool to put a, a parlay together, you know, the six and seven teamers. But always back them with straight bets if you can. So if you put a hundred dollar, you know, parlay or fifty dollar parlay out there, go back and put um, twenty bucks on each team, twenty two to win twenty on each team. That way, if you hit six out of seven, you still made a hundred and twenty bucks um, versus losing everything like the parlay. So the parlays you'll learn in the long run they'll kill you. Um, always the payouts always look good, but uh, the odds are you hitting that is ridiculous. So. Stick to the straight bets. That's one philosophy that I'll give you that I, I don't always stick to. I, I love the parlays also. But if you're serious about making money, stick with the straight bets. Those are our five for the day. I won't recoup them. Um, they are going to be on YouTube. So please, if you want to see um, if I'm keeping track and transparent of the day before, go back and look at the previous video. Like yesterday, I gave Golden State plus one and a half. Um, Dallas. In New Orleans, under 220, and Washington money line. Golden State lost, got blew out by Phoenix. Dallas and New Orleans went over to 220. I think they scored 224. And then Washington did um, cover the money line for us, which uh, basically helped us get some of our money back. So um, 
We have our picks for tonight. Good luck. I'm trying to keep these down. That's about five minutes. And you know our, our motto, let's get it. Have a good night. Have fun. And let's get ready for football over the weekend. Um, Kenny, the Colorado Gambler. Let's get it. Thanks for joining. Hit the subscribe, like button, and share if this is something that you or someone you know may be interested in. Help us get um, over 100 subscribers so we can go live during the games and show you how we change our bets, how we make props during the game, and how we have fun with this day-to-day. Uh, have a good evening, everybody.